Hello, and welcome to the Sean Kelly on Movies podcast. And uh, this is a uh, new beginning for the podcast as such. Uh, we have a uh, new recording format, a new podcast host, and that'll actually uh, be the uh, first bit of um, housekeeping is that I now have a uh, substack which um, you can access by going to skrmovies.substack.com and uh, you can subscribe and at the uh, free tier you can uh, get uh, the Sean Kelly Movies podcast which is uh, now divided into uh, three separate feeds. There's the main feed which um, has um, pretty much everything and then we have uh, separate feeds for uh, Sean Kelly interviews and uh, Sean Kelly reviews and um, we'll make it uh, easier for you to uh, listen uh, to these uh, podcasts and um, you can also get uh, notifications of uh, new reviews and um, if you um, decide to um, subscribe to uh, Substack, um, you can get uh, some premium content um, like the uh, premium classics reviews I've uh, done for Patreon, as well as uh, pretty much every freelance article I've ever written eventually uh, will be uploaded to the um, Substack. So again, uh, you can subscribe to that at uh, SKR Movies dot uh, substack dot com but uh, now I'm going to go to my uh, main uh, subject of this episode and that is the Toronto International Film Festival which will be happening from September 9th to 18th and uh, this is the um, second uh, TIFF that's happening during uh, COVID-19, but this is um, the year that they're trying to open things up a bit more. So um, once again, uh, they're going to have a uh, digital screening uh, platform uh, called the Digital TIFF Bell Lightbox, and um, most of the screenings will have at least one uh, digital screening. Um, most have two, actually. <laughs> and um, so uh, I will be seeing uh, five uh, digital screenings. But uh, right now, I want to talk a bit about the physical TIFF that will be uh, happening this year. So they are going to have like two festival villages this year. So will be the main village in the Entertainment District of Toronto, which will include the uh, Tiff Bell Lightbox, the uh, Visa Screening Room at the Princess of Wales Theatre, the Roy Thompson Hall, and the Scotiabank Theatre and its infamous Escalator. <laughs> and uh, for the second year in a row, they'll be also having screenings at Ontario Place. So they'll be using the uh, Cinesphere IMAX Theatre, uh, the Visa Skyline Drive-In, the RBC Lakeside Drive-In, and the West Island Open Air Cinema. So those um, Ontario Place venues are definitely more for physical distancing and uh, being COVID safe. But um, TIFF actually has policy this year that you will require um, proof of vaccine or a negative COVID test to uh, see the films in uh, theaters, and um, you uh, have to um, be wearing a face mask. So um, for people with the advantage of the uh, YouTube video feed of this podcast, I'm now holding up my SK on Movies face mask, uh, which is actually available on our online uh, store, which you can excess by going to skrmovies.com slash shop and you can order the uh, face mask and uh, mugs and t-shirts and all that stuff and help uh, support me in, while you're doing so. And so uh, let's uh, move on to um, some of the uh, TIFF program and 
We'll um, start with pretty much one of my highlights of the festival every year, and that is, of course, the uh, Midnight Madness program. And this year I plan on seeing uh, every film in one way or another, and the one that will probably be the trickiest to get into, but is one I'm very excited for, is Titan, which is the uh, sophomore film from uh, director Julia Duke. Cornell, uh, French trigger. And um, this is uh, the film that just won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival. So this year, we are having a Palme d'Or winning film open up the uh, Midnight Madness program, and um, it will actually be screening at the Princess of Wales Theatre. So because of the high capacity of the theater, I'm pretty optimistic they'll be getting a ticket when the single tickets go on sale. And um, so this is a very exciting film that I'm looking forward to um, seeing. You know, open up Midnight Madness on a big note. And uh, another Midnight Madness film I'm looking forward to is Dash Cam, uh, which is the um, latest film from... British director Rob Savage, who had a hit last year with Host. So this is once again a kind of hybrid film that uses uh, a format of a live stream. And uh, there is a bit of a warning for uh, motion sickness, but um, I'm still going to try to see this theatrically and maybe have some gravel and stuff. So uh, uh, also playing as part of Midnight Madness is uh, the Irish horror film you Are Not My Mother, directed by Kate Dolan. And um, this is a film that I really don't need to know anything about. I just know it's Irish. It's a folk horror film. And um, definitely going to be there. I mean, I mean, films that I'm just going to see uh, digitally includes After Blue, Dirty Paradise, which um, looks to be the more surreal film of this year's Midnight Madness slate. And um, we also have Zalava which is a horror film from Iran. So definitely part of the Madness program is um, finding films from all over the world. And Zalava is a film that I want to be seeing digitally, and it is going to be a, <laughs> a definitely an interesting watch. And uh, rounding up out the Madness program is Saloum, which is from... Uh, Senegal? Uh, yeah, it looks, uh, yeah, Senegal. So that rounds up the Midnight Mass program. So let's uh, go through some of the other films I have in my uh, shortlist schedule. So um, a minor uh, controversy this year for the um, TIFF is... Um, the special presentations and galas are all designated premium and uh, people who like hope to see a regular priced second screening are not happy. But on the plus side is it did um, allow me to think outside the line somewhat in uh, putting together my um, schedule. So I'm going to, uh, so I should preface it by this is, is that I'm, this is my tentative schedule and that I have yet to uh, buy tickets to the physical screenings, but I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to see uh, most of these. So here are some of the highlights that I'm planning uh, for TIFF this year. So I'm going to start off with the uh, South African horror film. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Uh, Mlangu Wam, or Good Madam. So this is a film from South Africa. I've heard some good buzz about this one. I, once again, going in without knowing little about it. And uh, it'll to, to be the same for this uh, next film, which is uh, playing as part of the uh, platform program, or... And it, well, being, uh, Good Madam was playing this platform as well. And uh, this film is called Earwig. And uh, all I need to know about it is that the protagonist has ice cubes for teeth or something like that. And so, yeah. So this is going to be a ha uh, habit is that I, I like to pick a lot of the weird stuff that is playing a tiff. 
So, uh, so if there's actually a vampire film called uh, Kicking Blood, which uh, I plan to see, and uh, we have a horror film called A Banquet, a documentary from makers of Free Solo called The Rescue, um, which I plan to see, and hopefully in the Cinesphere, since um, this will probably have some very good visuals to it. And uh, another documentary I plan on seeing is Oscar Peterson, Black and White. And um, so we also have a film called Out of Sync, which is a sound of designer must rethink her career and life when her vision and hearing fall out of sync. So this will definitely make an interesting uh, viewing experience. And um, then uh, we have uh, an Indian film called Doug Doug, a film called A Silence Land by Ega Vazakoska. Vaz- Vaz- I can't pronounce these names. And uh, now he- here is a film which is the exception to the rule when it comes to avoiding special presentations and galas because on my um, tentative schedule, I have Edgar Wright's Last Night in Soho, which is playing as part of the gala program, and it'll be having a repeat screening at the uh, Princess of Wales Theatre. And even though the film opens in October, I'm going to try and get a ticket to see Last Night in Soho at TIFF, which will hopefully be one of my highlights of the festival. And um, another film, that, well, another, it's a more an event that I plan to see. It's called um, NBA Films for Fans, created with OLG. So this is actually a bunch of uh, NBA-themed short films that are playing, and I actually know one of the directors of the shorts, so I am coming to specifically see his film. And um, actually, my final day of the festival will be all digital, and um, these will be uh, Becoming Cousteau, about Jean Cousteau, uh, Medusa, a Brazilian uh, film, and uh, the aforementioned After Blue, Dirty Paradise, and uh, that is my uh, TIFF uh, lineup for this year. Um, it is definitely going to be interesting uh, trying to do a full festival again while um, we are still in the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, I think there's um, still a lot of people who are hesitant about going to see films in theaters even with vaccinations, because the uh, Delta variant is becoming a increasingly uh, problem. Uh, I have been going to see movies in theaters since they reopened in July. Uh, everything has been going fine. Uh, I've been sitting in half-empty theaters because they have to be half-empty theaters, and uh, I am confident that I'll be safe. I will wear a mask and uh, hopefully this will be a good Toronto International Film Festival and everything will go fine and I'm hoping that this will be a return to normalcy somewhat and uh, hopefully the uh, Bell Lightbox will open its doors again full time and I can go and see rep screenings, uh, films that I wouldn't be able to see otherwise. And uh, this is going to be an exciting time for me. And this is my first film festival in person since uh, I think Blood in the Snow in 2019. And this is going to be a fun time. And uh that's it for um, this episode of the Sean Kelly on Movies podcast. Uh, we'll try to do these a bit more regularly now, and I will see you next time. The Sean Kelly on Movies podcast is a production of SKLMovies.com. Episodes and show notes can be found at sklmoviespodcast.ca or sklmoviesstackcom and you can subscribe to us via Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and where else podcasts are hosted. Support us becoming a paid subscriber at sklmoviesstackcom or by joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash skonmovies.